I'm Samantha Ashfeld. And I'm Madison Beatty. Thank you for watching. We're taking over Real Rejects today because Ryan is very lame. And on didn't want to watch day. this video. He did not want to watch Backstreet Boys. Show him what, what you're made of. of. Official trailer. Good He's job. very lame. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch this? We get to watch it. I mean, I'm a '90s child. It's classic. Backstreet yeah. Boys. I want it. That way. So I haven't heard a lot about this other than there's a big hype around it. It's a documentary. I so. haven't heard nothing about it, but you gotta love the Backstreet Boys. So let's bring it back. Let's watch this documentary. It's on. <laughs> In 1999, about 2002, we were the biggest band in the world. Nobody thought it was going to be as big as it was. The best-selling boy band in history. Then it just stopped. What do you do when you're a full-grown man in a boy band? I had this idea to go to London, just the five of us, and to record an album. No families, no girlfriends, just us. <laughs> men in Orlando at the time. Lou had seen the success of Boys to Men, New Kids on the Block, and he was like, well, I can do this. I can put together a group. At that time, radio was playing Nirvana and Snoop Dogg. There was no room for boys like us. I think you guys should go to Europe. It just became this world. We had sold 14 million albums off of our first CD. And it never came out in America. Are you telling your friends and family, yeah, we're huge in Europe. <laughs> Really? I'm having a blast. This is not just a regular tour. This is a big deal. We're all older now. So much has happened. $300 million he stole yeah. or was missing. We've seen the best and the worst of each other. I'm not afraid of you anymore. 20 years is a long time for anybody, let alone a five bunch of dorks. Jumping around on stage, singing the dance. Wow. Interesting. I've never been like a diehard. I could sing like two of their songs, but I yeah. just remember listening to it as I grew old. But old. Because <laughs> you're an old, old lady. Trying not to give away my age. That I was in, impressed with. This seems to be like the it thing is, you know, we did it with Katy Perry and Justin yeah. Bieber. and Everybody's doing a documentary. And so when I heard it, I was kind of like, oh, okay. But I think what's kind of cool about this is that there's a lot of us that, you know, have grown up with them at this point. It's not, you know, with Katy Perry, she did a very quick, like, she hit the scene and there's a documentary and that's fantastic. So, I don't know, this might be cool because this brings it back. Back streets, back. back. All right. <laughs> this is making it seem like we're way. Whoa. Everybody. <laughs> the timing. Yeah. 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 Rock your, your body. body. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Back, back streets, back. back. video. He's jealous of the one-on-one -on -one time we get right now. And maybe a little afraid of what could happen when we take over. I mean, he doesn't know what just happened. Lesbian stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I probably won't watch this, but I maybe would eventually. At I don't know point. if I'd go to the theater. Yeah, I wouldn't go to the theater to watch it. But it is intriguing. I think no. they pieced it together. It looks like, you know, it was pieced together pretty well. And it might be kind of nice to hear their side of the story of their whole journey though. Well, it was interesting what they said about how they were big in Europe first before America. That's, that was... That's crazy and nobody over here even heard that first album. Yeah, and I, I think it's always good to see a peek in. Well, here's the thing. How about this? We don't want to watch it in theaters. How about you and I watch it? We'll just chill and watch it. Where? A, in a house? <laughs> but it's like, I felt like there was more to it. Like, no, we're not gonna watch it in theaters. We're just, we're just you and you and I will watch. It. We'll just watch it. I don't know. What did you think, Beverly? Did you think it was good? 
I like the fact that they're doing this documentary now because they get to go back and reflect. Like they were saying in it, you know, from the past 20 years, they've been a group together for a long time and yes, they broke up and took some time, but that's a lot of time. Like they, they had some monumental accomplishments together. So I think it's pretty well, cool. Well, I can respect them of the fact that they can still all perform together. That's yeah. saying, well, I mean, you get it on a set with people for a month and you know, most of the time you get lucky and you come out as a family, but sometimes it's like a huge struggle. And then think about how much time they spent together. There's such a bond there. But the intense. fact that after 20 years, all five of you can still come together and make music, and the music they were making wasn't bad. Yeah. Their, their modern day that they're doing. I'm I'm actually interested to hear their new album. Is it look like they're making? Possibly. Yeah. I well, and that's great because my brother has no idea who Backstreet Boys is, but I'll be like, Backstreet Boys! He'll be like, all right, okay, yeah, I can, okay. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I feel like this is supposed to launch them into something else again, like trying to get them back on the map. All right, exactly. guys, well, please subscribe to The Real Rejects. Check it out if you like what we're doing here. There's plenty more, and Ryan is normally in the videos, but again, he was too lame to be in this one, so you got us. And which, by the way, Check out Madison's channel. Thank you. It's Madison Official, S-E-N. And you gotta check out Sam's channel. If you check out mine, I mean. I mean, we're kind of a package you deal. To. You have to. It, you, you want to. I'm not giving you a choice. Please. Who should we shout out? We should shout out Ryan. Since hey. he left us. Yes. Ryan. Ryan, right. <laughs> you get Thank a you shout for out. having us on your show. You're Being motherfucking awesome. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and offensive. And as very shit. offensive. And likes to talk about shit. Lots of shit. For the record, I don't think it's okay to shit on girls' chests. <laughs> Sam, Sam's getting started in debates, guys. I, <laughs> Let's be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. He has me fired up. He keeps trying to put it out there. But he's doing something right if you're fired up. You're talking. Just accept the fact that you're different. And that you like to have your shit. I don't know. I don't like me. I don't want to be shot on. Tearing up my heart when, when I'm, I'm with, with you. Cause but when, when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter what, I feel the pain with or without you. I was really just enjoying listening to your wonderful voice. I should be Especially American when Idol. You're very loud. Please. I'll do back, that. Back, street, back. Oh!